iPhone 16 Pro vs iPhone 15 Pro, is it worth the upgrade? Peace be upon you. My dear friends and followers of the channel, how are you today? I hope you are well and in good health. Today with you is a beautiful, new and important video for everyone. This video will be called iPhone 16 Pro vs iPhone 15 Pro, is it worth the upgrade? But before watching the video, Subscribe to the channel and like and share so that it reaches the largest number of people. Now let's watch the video and I hope you like it. The iPhone 16 Pro comes with some notable upgrades over last year's model, but Apple's new i features are available on both models. So is it worth upgrading from the iPhone 15 Pro? Let's find out. The iPhone 16 Pro is a little larger and wider while both the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro are similar. There are some differences. First. The iPhone 16 Pro is a little longer and a little wider than the iPhone 15 Pro. Extra millimeters add space for a larger screen. And yes, the iPhone 16 Pro is 12 grams heavier than its predecessor. Like its predecessor, the iPhone 16 Pro is also available in titanium black, titanium white, and natural titanium. However, Apple has also added a desert titanium finish to the mix which wasn't an option with the previous version. While both phones have an action button, the iPhone 16 Pro features a new camera control button, which is located on the same side as the power button. As the name suggests, the button helps users access the camera app and Apple's visual intelligence feature by pressing or dragging. Last but not least, you get the second generation ceramic shield front glass, which is about 50% stronger than the glass on the iPhone 15 Pro. Aside from these four differences, the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro share countless similarities. Both phones have dynamic island on the front, with symmetrical edges on all sides, which are slightly thinner on the iPhone 16 Pro. There is a square-shaped camera module on the back with a matte glass panel and IP68 dust and water resistance. The iPhone 16 Pro has a slightly larger screen as mentioned. The iPhone 16 Pro's slightly longer and wider dimensions coupled with thinner bezels make room for a 6.3-inch Super Retina XDR display. This feels noticeably larger than the similar 6.1-inch Super Retina XDR display on the iPhone 15 Pro. However, that's the extent of the changes Apple has made to the iPhone 16 Pro display, as all other specifications, such as panel technology, OLED, resolution, maximum brightness and high refresh rate, ProMotion display, are the same as those in the iPhone 15 Pro. Both models support an always-on display with the only difference being that the iPhone 16 Pro's display can go down to one nit of minimum brightness. Introducing the A18 Pro chip from Apple Silicon, iPhone 16 Pro runs on the new A18 Pro chip which is based on second-generation triple nano manufacturing technology with smaller faster transistors that help increase performance and efficiency at the same time. With a new 6-core CPU featuring 2 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores, the iPhone 16 Pro can run the same workload as the previous generation 15% faster while using 20% AA less power. Next generation machine learning accelerators are optimized for Apple intelligence, delivering high throughput low latency calculations. Then there's a new 6-core GPU that's 20% faster than the previous generation and supports hardware accelerated ray tracing for better graphics and 3D games. The chip also has a new 16-core neural engine to handle Apple intelligence workloads on the device. Apple is also including a new heat dissipation system on the iPhone 16 Pro, which helps maintain peak performance for extended use. However, the A17 Pro on the iPhone 15 Pro is no slouch either. Although the processor dates from 2023, it will pack enough horsepower to power the latest Apple intelligence features. The iPhone 16 Pro gets a new sensor for telephoto and ultra-wide photography. The iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro feature a 48-megapixel primary camera which captures stunning photos in all scenarios. This year's Pro model comes with a new 48-megapixel camera for taking sharper, more detailed landscape photos. The sensor, like the 12MP ultra-wide sensor on the iPhone 15 Pro, can take macro shots as well. Another significant improvement is the inclusion of a 12MP 5X telephoto camera in the iPhone 16 Pro, which offers a better zoom range, up to 25X digital zoom 
than the 12 MP3 X telephoto sensor in the iPhone 15 Pro, up to 15x digital zoom. The iPhone 16 Pro also takes video recording to a higher level by allowing you to shoot 4K videos at up to 120 FPS with the primary camera. You also get an option to adjust the playback speed after recording the video. For professionals who care about videography, the iPhone 16 Pro can record 4K ProRes video at 120 FPS, even going directly to an external storage device. Additionally, you get wind noise reduction and improved audio mix sound on the newer phone. The iPhone 15 Pro, on the other hand, can only record 4K videos at 60 FPS and 4K Pro Res videos at 60 FPS. However, it shares many features with the newer model, such as cinema mode, action mode, and the 12MP true depth front camera, which can record 4K videos at 60 FPS on both devices. The iPhone 16 Pro clearly offers major upgrades in the camera department, including the aforementioned camera control button that opens up new ways to take photos and record videos. iPhone 16 Pro gets a battery boost with the iPhone 16 Pro. Apple is improving battery life by a few hours. Last year, the iPhone 15 Pro was rated to provide up to 23 hours of video playback. This year, the iPhone 16 Pro can deliver up to 27 hours of video playback. Like the regular iPhone 16, the iPhone 16 Pro also supports 25 watts MagSafe wireless charging, using a 30 watts or higher adapter, which is the same maximum recharging speed as the iPhone 15 Pro. Both phones support Apple Intelligence. Both phones support iOS 18 and will be able to run Apple's artificial intelligence features known as Apple Intelligence. In terms of software support, the iPhone 16 Pro, like the 15 Pro before it, should get all the latest iOS versions and features for at least 5 years but possibly longer. The price remains the same. The iPhone 16 Pro with 128GB of storage is priced at $999. Pre-orders begin on September 13th while the iPhone will hit stores on September 20th. While Apple launched the iPhone 15 Pro at $999, it is currently available for $899 at Best Buy. If you wait a while, you should be able to find a better deal during the holiday sales season. Whether upgrading is worth it depends on what you use your iPhone for and how important it is to have the latest features. If you're a regular user who bought the iPhone 15 Pro at retail at launch, you already have about 80% of the iPhone 16 Pro's features. If the remaining 20% AA of features, the A18 Pro chip, a camera control button, two new camera sensors, and a longer-lasting battery that supports 25 watts MagSafe charging, are worth it, you have your answer. While these features are amazing, they're not something you can live without if you already own an iPhone 15 Pro. At the end of the video, I thank you for watching and I hope you liked it, and see you in a new video.